everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, so today we're gonna mount the Leptodes by color on this ceramic slab that I received with my Neo Phoenicia. I really actually like this slab, and this orchid actually came bare root, so I think they're a perfect match. Let's see how to go about it. Now, as you may know, I usually like to use raffia wire when I mount orchids. However, I'm kinda starting to like the looks of this clear thread, the fishing line. It is actually a fishing line. So today I'll give this a go. It will be the first time. And I've watched Astrid's videos and uh, yeah, I like her technique. So I'll try to use this type of wire for this project because this is such a tiny orchid and because this lab is just so pretty, I don't want to cover it in any way. So the first thing you'll notice about this lab is that it has two holes. This is very handy, particularly if you are trying to mount an orchid with its roots upwards. You can actually tie the roots and it will be much more stable. You don't necessarily need to go around. However, I don't think it is my case, but I will actually use these ones to insert this thread and actually make a knot in the back. So I have something to hold on to. So what I will do first is insert this thread through these already pre-made holes. And in the back, I will actually tie a knot and I will leave a tail because this is what Astrid says. Now, leaving a tail ensures that you can tie again the loose end you will have. It's actually a very good idea. So I will leave this tail be and with this end, I will wrap the orchid around the slab. Okay, so after a few trial and errors, I decided that I will first stabilize the orchid directly on the slab and then I'm gonna add some sphagnum moss. And also, I'll try to position it to an angle because the direction of growth is right here. So now that my orchid is attached, I will just add a few strains of sphagnum moss here and there because this orchid does not like to dry out. This will do for now. I can always add more. So I'm just gonna wrap again the wire around the mount. There we go, things should now be a lot more stable. I can always edit this, but I'm pretty happy right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is turn it upside down, trying not to damage the plant, and I will cut the wire and tie the loose end with the other loose end, like so. Now I'm actually gonna make multiple knots here. And when everything is done, cut the excessive wire, and voila, we are done. So this is my Leptodes mount. I'm gonna add the tag. I'm actually gonna make a different tag because I want to hang the tag. I have my separate tags. So um, yeah, I think this is okay. Hopefully this orchid will do good. And I have to admit the fishing line, I like it a lot more than the raffia tape. It's quite a lot more invisible. If I would have used a lot more moss, it would have been better. But then again, I can always edit this. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post daily. If you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and share it. Also, you can leave me your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com, where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and forums. And on the right side, if you click, you'll be directed to a video about the Nelly Eiler orchid, which is my favorite orchid, almost. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.